Hello everyone, I hope that uh, you have a great day today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you okay, some very simple, again, okay, very simple okay, uh, okay, way to create okay, a web page okay, and then uh, know some of the basic uh, HTML language okay, and then the elements okay, uh, used to uh, create web pages. Okay. All right, okay, the software I will be using is the uh, Sublime Text, okay, a free software. Again, uh, you can watch okay, another of my video about okay, how to uh, download, okay, uh, install, use it, okay, and create a simple web page. And then for this video, the tutorial, tutorial I'll be using will be from the uh, Oxford okay, Brooks okay, University. Okay. And then here is the website. Okay, here is the website. Okay. There are tons of uh, different HTML primer you can uh, use, okay. but then I like this one. Okay. It's pretty simple to the point. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's get started, okay. So again, okay, uh, section one contains the uh, introduction, okay, and then uh, section two, the basic okay, structure. So I will quickly okay, I'll go through okay, uh, some uh, uh, sections okay, as of uh, now. Okay, I don't want to keep this video too long. Okay, yeah. So section one cover the introduction, okay, and then also the uh, uh, the history of HTML. Uh, feel free to read it okay, uh, when you have time, okay, when you have time, okay, and again, uh, I mentioned about HTML, okay, start with version 1, version 2, version 3.2, version 4.0, okay, uh, uh, then uh, some extension okay, of the uh, HTML called uh, XHTML version 1.0, 1.1, uh, da, 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 okay, the current version is H HTML5, okay, this, this is the current version, okay, again, uh, when you are free, okay, feel free to read those contents, okay, I'm not going to bother you okay, with those contents, okay, yeah, and then okay, uh, let's keep going, okay, we are over here, just mention about uh, the HTML okay, web page, okay, uh, all web page consists of different elements, okay, and again, okay, I will explain to you okay, about those elements okay, uh, in a minute, okay, and then let's move on to okay, section two, basic okay, structure, okay. So, okay, again, okay, uh, to see the basic structure, okay, uh, let me use the uh, uh, Sublime text okay, software over here. Okay, first of all, before I uh, type any HTML code, okay, let me okay, uh, show you the uh, a fun part of using this software. Okay, so let me create a file called a file. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, go to file and then select okay, uh, save as. And again, okay, you can pick any location you like okay, to save the file. Okay, so okay, uh, again, okay, uh, I have a file saved already. Okay. And then okay, uh, let me just okay, use this file name and click okay, uh, save. Okay. And then uh, uh, anything in there will be overwritten is totally fine with me. Okay, yeah, so this is the uh, totally uh, empty okay, HTML web page, okay, really nothing there. And then the fun part of using this software is, is that okay, uh, uh, based on the file extension, the HTML, okay, uh, the okay, editor knows that okay, you can, you are going to create okay, uh, a web page, okay, and then uh, it show you okay, some uh, pretty neat okay, uh, features okay, among the uh, so-called elements okay, of the web page. So if I type in HTML and then press the tab key, okay, the tab key is right above the uh, capital lock key on your left. Okay, so let me press the tab key now. Boom! Oh wow. Ah. Pretty neat. So, okay, the basic structure okay, of a web page okay, uh, have been uh, created. Okay. Of course, I mean, if you okay, try to run the web page now, okay, let me show it to you. Okay. So, okay, here is the uh, directory okay, where I store the uh, web page. Okay. And then if I click refresh, nothing happened okay, because I didn't put anything in there yet. Okay. But uh, the software can okay, create the basic structure. Okay. Uh, of the web page for you. Okay, so basic structure consists of these so-called okay, elements, okay, uh, the document type element, the uh, HTML element, da 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 okay. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, so over, let me switch back to the HTML primer. Okay, so you mentioned about the web page consists of different type of elements. Okay, what is an element? So basically, uh, this is an element. 
Okay, so this is the element. Okay, the element contains the uh, open okay, uh, uh, tag, okay, or uh, open okay, uh, okay, uh, tag name, okay, and okay, also the uh, closing tag name, okay, and then uh, in between, okay, it has the uh, content, okay, and then it, the content can be empty as well. Okay, so uh, the tag name could be called, okay, open tag name could be called XYZ, the closing okay, uh, or and the tag name okay, uh, has the same name, but proceeded with okay, a forward slash. Okay, so the open tag name okay, has a format like okay, uh, uh, less than angle tag name, okay, and then uh, right angle, then followed by the content, okay, followed by the uh, okay, end tag name. Okay, again, the tag name, end tag name has the same uh, format like the opening tag name, except that okay, right before the uh, tag name, okay, it has a forward slash. Okay, so you can see, use this uh, example here okay, to okay, look into some uh, basic elements. Okay, so for example, the HTML okay, uh, tag okay, or HTML element okay, has the opening tag name, closing tag name. Okay, the body has the open tag name, closing tag name. The head has the same. But then this uh, document type okay, has only one tag name format. Okay, so again, uh, the uh, element okay, could uh, could be using a two tag okay, format okay, or uh, just one. Okay, just one. Okay, yeah, we'll see some examples okay, later. And then okay, uh, within the content okay, of okay, a tag, so actually it can uh, contain okay, uh, other okay, uh, tag elements, no problem. Okay, so it's just like this will be the content okay, of the X Y Z okay, element. But then okay, the content contains okay, uh, some message and also some other type of tag okay, uh, or elements. Really doesn't matter. Okay, so here will uh, be an example. Okay, here will be an example. Okay, but but then make sure that okay, the uh, pairing of those tag names okay, they match. Okay, so okay, opening, ending, okay, and then opening, okay, ending, okay, and then opening. Okay, Ending okay, yeah, make sure that uh, you match them right, okay, yeah, match them right, okay. So, this is no good, okay. You have opening, okay, and then you have uh, another tag name, okay, and then uh, you end with, okay, uh, the okay, uh, okay, uh, ABC, okay, uh, uh, ending tag name, so okay, uh, the uh. Uh, browser won't be able to okay, uh, recognize okay, what's going on. Okay, so again, okay, make sure that uh, you okay, uh, pair them right. Okay, yeah, and then okay, uh, okay, again uh, for the opening tag. Okay, for the opening tag, okay, it can contain okay, some so-called uh, attributes. Okay, so okay, again, okay, uh, you can have. Uh, one or more attributes, okay, no problem. Okay. ATTR stands for attributes, okay, and an attribute okay, has this kind of format, okay, name, okay, equal, and value. Okay, so we call them the name okay, value pair. And value uh, in general okay, will be enclosed in double codes. Uh, if you want to use single codes, it's fine. I mean, the browser usually is very forgiving. Okay, uh, it's, it's fine. Okay, yeah. But then there are needs that okay, you might uh, want to use. Okay, Single codes. Again, okay, uh, uh, in general, okay, you just need to use the double codes okay, uh, for the value. Okay, yeah. And then again, okay, let's keep moving forward. Okay, but again, okay, uh, some tag. Okay, again, I mentioned about using a uh, one tag okay, format. Okay. So it could be that a uh, tag name, okay, and then okay, uh, no ending tag. Okay, but then how do you know okay, uh, it is okay, uh, a single format uh, tag? Okay, then uh, the uh, right brackets, okay, right angle, sorry, right angle, okay, uh, in the uh, opening tag, okay, uh, it will be preceded okay, with a forward slash. Okay. We'll see some uh, examples later, okay? And then section 2.2 .2 mentioned about HTML document basic structure, okay? Uh, this is a pretty old one, okay, old format, okay? Uh, so okay, uh, really, uh, uh, people uh, might not use it anymore. But then, why you mentioned it here? Uh, the reason is that if you work for a company, maybe they still have those okay, legacy web pages. Okay, so uh, before the uh, HTML, okay, uh, 
get uh, element, get okay, they might have get okay, information that is okay, so I uh, don't be surprised. Okay, don't be surprised. And you can see on the left hand side, get okay, HTML version five has a more get okay, simple get okay, uh, tag format to tell the uh, document type. Okay, but then okay, this is get okay, uh, the old format. Okay, it's fine. Okay, old format is fine. It's good to know. Okay, yeah. Let's keep moving forward. Okay, so again, okay, this will be uh, another okay, uh, situation. And when you run it, okay, if you run okay, like this, okay, then you might see okay, in the body, okay, you will display uh, my first document okay, over the title here. Okay, you will display the first document as well. Okay, so let me just get okay, uh, copy okay, this one, okay, copy this paragraph uh, tag element, put it into the body. Okay. And then get in the title part. Okay, let me put this one here. Okay, yeah, yeah put this one here. And then again, uh, make sure you save it. Okay, you save it. Okay, otherwise, if you go to the uh, index.html page and you click the reader, you find out that, ooh, I mean, uh, there's nothing there. Well, because you haven't saved the document yet. Okay, so make sure that you save it. Okay, you save it. Okay, yeah. But then you say, well, I mean, uh, okay, how do I know? Okay, my document uh, hadn't been saved. Okay, so, well, let me just quickly okay, type something okay, like this. Okay. And I want you to pay attention to the uh, text editor's title bar here. Okay. So, okay, right now, okay, it has this file name and then dash, okay, dash, okay, then sublime text, okay, right? But if I add something, okay, like documents, okay, then you can see that, huh, okay, there is an asterisk over here. It indicated uh, the file has been changed, but hadn't been saved yet. Okay, so if I okay, uh, go to file and then save, click save. Okay, so after I click save, you will see that okay, the asterisk will be gone. Okay, so okay, this is how you can distinguish okay, uh, okay, whether a file has been saved or not. Okay, so let me do it get okay, one more time. Okay, there you go, the asterisk is gone. Okay, and then now when I do a refresh, boom, okay, that's it. Okay, so you can see that uh, the things get okay, you put get okay, in the uh, uh, body get okay, element get okay, uh, you will be displayed get okay, P stands for paragraph get okay, uh, element get okay, so uh, it will be displayed over your okay, uh, browser's get okay, window get okay, uh, we call this one body but then you say well how about this one get okay, where did it go get okay, so well actually the content in the title element get okay, goes to the tag here. Okay, go to the tag here. So you can see that, ah, it showed up, okay, it showed up, okay. Uh, okay, the tag showed up, okay, information showed up based on okay, what I type up here. Then I can, again, okay, play with it a little bit. Okay, so maybe okay, uh, Southeastern University, okay, State Oklahoma State University, this is my university. And then I'm going to use shortcut key, okay, control S, get okay, to save the file. And do a refresh. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now the uh, tag over the uh, web page okay, uh, displayed the information. But then if I okay, delete everything here, okay, and then save it again, and do a reload. Okay, then you can see that uh, it will use okay, my file name. Okay, so okay, let me add the things back there. Okay, South season okay, is cool. Okay, yeah. save it. Okay. Okay, Oops, sorry. Oh yeah, by the way, it's a free software, so from time to time, okay, it will ask you, do you want to buy it? Okay, um, no need to buy it, just click cancel, will be fine. Okay, and then uh, let me save the file, Control S, and then reload, okay, there you go, okay, it's, it's fine, okay, this is pretty cool. Let's continue, okay, so okay, keep going, get okay, forward. Again, uh, the good thing of using this website is that okay, uh, this will be the, um, Content okay, and then if you okay, uh, run the uh, uh, the web okay, the contents in the uh, web page. If you run the web page, okay, this will be the output. Okay, so it show you the output okay, as well. Pretty neat. Again, uh, you can save the file as .html, .htm or .html. Okay, uh, this is the one okay, I encourage okay, my students to do. Okay, now we're going to move on to the uh, headers. Okay. So, and then paragraphs, okay. So HTML okay, has 
six ke head in ke or headers ke type h1 is two is three is four ke and then again ke let me quickly ke show you an example ke so let me try with h1 tag first ke so let me put the uh, h1 tag here ke copy and paste ke control s to save it ke switch back to my browser do a reload ke ah oh i see so the h1 tag ke uh Okay, will uh, display the font in a pretty uh, larger font size and also in bold okay, style as well. Okay, uh, then how about H2? Okay, how about H2? Okay, so H2, okay, let me add that one in there. Okay, and then save it, Control S, reload. Okay, ah, so okay, the, uh, the larger the number, okay, after the H, okay, the smaller the font size okay, it will be, and again, okay, uh, it will be uh, in bold okay, uh, style as well. Okay, and then let me copy the whole thing here so you can uh, have a good comparison. Okay, yeah. So let me copy the whole thing here. Control and paste. Okay, and then Control S to save it. Okay, and do a reload. Okay. So you can see that okay, this is H1, okay, this is H2, okay, the content in H2, okay, the content in H3, okay, the content in H4, and then here will be the content in the paragraph uh, tag okay, or element. Okay, so this is the uh, paragraph okay, uh, tag. Okay, and again, uh, the larger the number H4, okay, uh, the smaller, get okay, the smaller the font size, get okay, uh, you will be okay. Yeah, again, uh, when you get okay, write an article, get okay, or a book, get okay, uh, you would need get okay, different type of uh, headings, get okay, headings. Okay, so that's why uh, HTML get okay, prepare get okay, those tag. Get okay. again, uh, the uh, good thing of using this okay, software is that okay, you show you the line numbers okay, and also a kind of color code uh, the elements get okay, the color code elements okay yeah all right okay let's switch back to the tutorial okay so again we also show you okay, the output as well okay pretty neat okay pretty neat okay and then the okay, next one you mentioned about okay uh, the uh, okay, uh, 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 attributes get okay, of uh, an element okay so again uh, an element okay, can has okay, um, one or more attributes okay, uh, most of the time okay, most of the time uh, attribute like ID class style title language get okay, unclick da, 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 okay so again I encourage you to take time to read it okay, I'm not going to bother you with that okay, I want to keep the video short okay but then okay, let's take this one okay, a uh, short one is an example okay yeah so let me copy copy switch back get to my okay uh browser here okay so let me see okay oops yeah sorry uh, i need to reduce my browser okay so i can see the uh the horizontal get okay, scroll bar okay my bad okay There you go. Okay, so okay. let me quickly move to here. Okay, so let me use the uh, H1 tag okay, or element okay, together with some uh, attributes. Okay, so okay, uh, again, okay, uh, the H1 tag can okay, use the attribute of title, okay, uh, and then ID, and then uh, class, okay, and then, uh, well, uh, that's it. Okay, yeah, then the, the contents, get okay, the contents. Okay, so let me save the file, Ctrl S, and then switch back to the web page to a reload. Okay, so then you can see that uh, the H1 tag okay, uh, display the content, but then uh, the title attribute okay, actually, if I move my mouse pointer over there. And okay, then a tool tip okay, will show up. Okay, tool tip will show up. Okay, and then it uh, will display the message. Okay, my first title. Okay, so this is the purpose of it. ID okay, is used to identify okay, this uh, element okay, if it's necessary. Class okay, will be used for the uh, uh, cascading star sheet. Okay, so uh, you can have okay, different. Okay, uh, 
so-called uh, style selectors get, got put in there get, as long as you separate them with a the space. Get. But again, uh, this is not about cascading style sheets. Get, so I'm not going to bother you with that. Okay, so let's keep moving forward. Uh, next one you mentioned about okay, uh, uh, elements okay, like uh, emphasize, okay, EM is for emphasize, okay, uh, strong okay, uh, will be like uh, bold, okay, uh, okay, uh, the content. Okay, so again, uh, let me okay, use this one, okay, use this one as an example. Okay, so copy, okay, copy, and then okay, let me paste into the body, okay, paste into the body of the HTML web page I have here, and then let me okay, press the Control S to save it. Switch back to the browser, okay, do a reload, okay, there you go. Uh, so you can see that okay, the uh, paragraph element contains okay, uh, two different elements, the EM element okay, and also the uh, strong okay, element. Okay. And then okay, uh, the EM element, you can see that okay, uh, the content must, okay, which is must, okay, uh, is displayed in okay, uh, it italic. Okay, so let me increase the font size. Okay, so you can see that uh, if uh, the content okay, uh, is enclosed in the EM tag okay, and then okay, uh, under HTML, then it will be displayed in italic. But then if it's displayed okay, in the uh, strong okay, uh, uh, element, okay, element okay, then it's in okay, bold okay, font okay, style, okay, that's it. So again, okay, the uh, paragraph tag okay, can contain okay, uh, uh, another okay, uh, element okay, such as EM for emphasize, okay, strong okay, for bold. Okay, yeah. And again, okay, uh, here will be the uh, example from the author. Okay. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, uh, the EM tag won't make the um, content okay, uh, display in this okay, uh, uh, green color. Okay. Uh, the, the author is pretty nice. Okay, they purposely, purposely make it okay, in uh, uh, blue color so you can see uh, the uh, difference, okay? And similarly, uh, the strong tag won't make the content display in red color, okay? No, uh, the authors can just try to okay, show you the difference, okay, that's all, okay, yeah. So you can see that uh, my browser, okay, they're not display okay, uh, those contents okay, in different colors okay, at all, okay? All right, let's keep moving forward. Okay, and then next one you mentioned about a uh, layout model. Okay, so uh, some of the uh, HTML elements okay, are the so-called inline okay, elements okay, that uh, just get okay, a content text or okay, all other okay, uh, inline elements okay, such as EM okay, and then okay, uh, strong. Okay. Uh, they are the type of so-called inline elements, okay. but then they are also okay, uh, so-called okay, uh, block elements, okay, which mean elements that are uh, more significant, uh, significant okay, uh, can define their own okay, space and can contain uh, inline elements okay, such as the P tag, okay, the uh, uh, heading tag as well. Okay, yeah. All right, okay, and then uh, in order to let you see the difference, okay, uh, I'm going to okay, uh, use uh, a okay, cascading style sheet a little bit, but then uh, again, don't bother about uh, spend time knowing it. Okay. I just want to show you the difference, okay, and that's all, okay? Yeah, so again, uh, pretty neat. Okay, this uh, software okay, automatically uh, prepare the uh, a style, okay, uh, element, okay, uh, structure for me, okay. So let me try, okay, here, okay, P will be the uh, selector, okay. Then I'm going to use the outline, okay, and then let me try uh, the uh, dash, okay, yeah, dash color, okay. And then for the, uh, let's say the EM tag, okay, uh, EM tag, let me also show the outline as well. Okay, so okay, give me a minute, get okay, outline, and this time let me use a uh, solid line, yeah, okay, yeah. Let me save it, Control S, okay, do a little bit reload. Okay, I hope that, I hope that uh, you can uh, have an idea. So the uh, P tag okay, is the so-called, okay, a block, okay, a label tag, okay. A block it means, okay, uh, it's like a big container. Okay, it's like a big container, okay? And then 
uh, the okay, risk it depends on uh, the width of your browser. Okay, so it will change. Okay, it will change. Okay, but then for the so-called uh, inline element, okay, such as em, okay, such as em here. Okay, then okay, it will okay, uh, kind of okay. Uh, the content will be displayed along the line. So, so maybe that's why it's called in line, in the line, in the line. Okay, so uh, you won't create okay, a huge okay, uh, uh, kind of okay, uh, okay, uh, uh, content okay, on its own only. Okay, you won't do that. Okay, you just add into uh, whatever content you have okay, along the line, okay, along the line. Okay, so that's why it's called in line. For the uh, block okay, label tag okay, in general, okay, it will create some space okay, or margin okay, uh, before the content and after the content, okay, it will create some uh, margin as well. Okay, so let me uh, show you okay, something here. Okay, uh, hello okay, uh, world. Okay, yeah, hello world. Okay, yeah. okay, so the message is added okay, after the uh, a paragraph okay, element. Okay, let me save it. Let me do a reload. There we go. So you can see that uh, I did not add any space okay, uh, after the um, uh, closing uh, uh, paragraph uh, uh, element at all. But then uh, the block okay, type uh, element, you okay, will automatically add some margin to it. Okay, so. Uh, one before, one after, okay? One before and one after. But in line, okay, no, no, no. I mean, it's in the line. So it does not add any okay, uh, special okay, uh, spaces before, after, or okay, a top or button at all, okay? Yeah. All right, okay, then let's keep moving forward, okay? Uh, line breaks, okay, line break, okay, so BR, okay, is the, uh, okay, uh, stands for a line breaker, okay? And then uh, night break, okay, and then uh, it is in general is one tag format. Okay, so uh, let me show to you. Okay, let's say assume that okay, I want to uh, break the line okay, up uh, after this okay, uh, period over here. Okay, red dot. Then I can come back to my page here, and after the dot, okay, then I can add okay, a line breaker. Okay, yeah, br. Okay, and then again save it. Okay, and then do a reload. Okay. Ah, so you can see that okay. the browser okay, will display the content, 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 and when it re encounter the uh, BR tag, then the kind of the, uh, you, if you want to call it the printer head, will move to next line, okay, move to next line. Similarly, uh, if okay, after this, okay, in the afternoon, okay, you want the rest of content to be displayed over the next line, uh, you can do that, okay. So let me try get over here, okay, yeah. So uh, let me add okay, uh, this BR tag there. Okay. Save it. Reload. Okay. Then you say that, okay, that's true. I noticed that, that okay, you are closing uh, your BR tag. Uh, you use okay, on the uh, right okay, uh, angle sign, you use, uh, you add a, a forward slash, but then this one, uh, you did not do that. Okay. Uh, it works fine. Well, again, okay, uh, it's not as strict. Okay, yeah. So for this okay, uh, okay, uh, style, okay, it's really okay, uh, up to you. But then for me personally, okay, I usually okay, add okay, this one, okay? Yeah, add this forward slash. Okay, yeah. So let me do a control S, okay, reload. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's keep moving forward. Okay. And then, yeah, okay, you know, okay, how to use the uh, BR tag already. A uh, summary, you can read it, okay, summary, you can read it, okay. And then next one, okay, uh, okay we're going to talk about the unordered release, okay, and then order release uh, over uh, section three, okay. Uh, this, I think that this video is a bit long already, okay, so I will just cut it short, okay, right now, okay, so let me stop, okay over here, okay. I hope that uh, this is useful to you, okay, yeah. Wish you a great day, okay, yeah, bye.